What's up, CEOs? It's your girl, Chamel, back with the uh, 2021 Auto Dealer Business Planner. I had to remember what we were talking about today because that is very important. If you're watching this right now, then um, hit replay because you're probably watching the replay. And um, it also gives me a time, an idea of like what time people are watching the replays. So um, hopefully you can hear me too and we don't have any problems with the comments like we did last time. So let's see, make sure the sound is good. Can you hear me? And let me know who all is joining. I like to know who's with me. Uh, because, you know, sometimes I think about you guys like, you know, where's so-and-so? I haven't seen them in a while, right? So just let me know um, who's with me so we can keep in touch. Um, if you don't already know who I am, I'm Shamel and I started the Auto Dealer Business School so that I could help the beginner auto dealer be successful faster and get to six figures faster without much delay, stress, um, issues, overwhelm, etc. So I'm here um, to pass down the things that I've done that have been successful um, and that have not been successful. Okay, so today we're talking about 2021 auto dealer business planning because we are almost out of here with 2020 and it's time for 2021. And I just want to say that I am not the planner, okay? Like, I do not like planning. Uh, I much rather just jump in and um, figure it out, right? So that's what I did when I started um, my dealership. I hesitate to say dealership because I started in an office, okay? Uh, because I'm in Georgia and we only need an office to start. So when I started in the office, I didn't really have a plan. I thought a couple of things through, but I just really jumped in and, you know, uh, just tried to figure it out. And um, it, it, I figured some things out, but I definitely was more stressed. I probably was depressed more <laughs> than I needed to be. Uh, and I was lost because I really did not, um, I did not know what was going well. I did not know what wasn't. Like I had no idea where I was. I didn't know uh, what to do from where we were in the business. Like I, it was just so many questions because I did not plan. I did not take time to see what was working, see what was not working, what needed to be changed. Um, you know, just really assess my business so I could move forward. Okay. So is that you? Um, are you also the person who do not just does not plan? That's just not like, um, my skill, <laughs> my strength. I just much rather jump in. I don't think I'm getting any comments again. So let me see if I can, uh, pull it up on my computer because I need to hear what y'all questions are. All right, let's see. Hopefully the video comes up and I could just see comments. Okay, I think so. Let me see the comments. All right, so um, I don't see any comments. So let me know if you can hear me and let me know if everything is going well because I am not hearing I'm not seeing any comments, okay? Um, or maybe you guys are just like, uh, I'm not the planner, so let me just listen to what you got to say. So a business plan, of course, is like, okay, hey, Joe, what's up? All right, because last week I didn't have any comments and y'all had some good questions, but um, I'm glad I got some comments now. All right, so um, a business plan, right? When you hear a business plan, it's like, ooh, it's like a big thing, right? A big document, a lot of work. But a business plan is like having a roadmap, more like, um, I guess the, 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 the um, equivalent to a roadmap is like GPS, right? Uh, to help you get to where you wanna go faster. Good morning, Rafi. Um, or you can pick, you know, on GPS, you can pick what kind of, trip you want to have. You want to take the fastest route? Do you want to avoid certain 
things like highways and toll roads, right? Um, or do you want to take the scenic route, right? That's what um, you can do on the GPS. You can say, hey, this is what I want to do. Same thing with a business plan. This is what I want to see on my path. This is what I want to experience as I'm getting to where I want to go, okay? Same thing. So if you haven't already planned for 2021, then you're already behind because the end of the year is coming up fast and 2021 is on its way. So what are some things you want to do? Let me know. Like, What are some things that you want your um, business to do? What are some things you want to experience? Um, what are some things you want to grow? What are some things you want to change? Um, right? And while you're thinking about that, let me talk about a few things to consider. So one thing to consider when thinking about um, reviewing like 2020 um, is what kinds of things, like what were your weaknesses in your business in 2020 or what are your weaknesses in your business so far? Um, what And what I mean by weaknesses is, for example, we had an issue this year with inventory at the auction, okay? So then for me, um, depending solely on the auction for inventory is a weakness. So in my plan, I am exploring other ways to make sure that I always have inventory and at the price that I, you know, I need it to be, right? So that I can always have, um, you know, my profit. So I can make sure I have my profit. I got this other video going. It is distracting me. So <laughs> let, me, let me scroll it off. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that was a weakness for us, right? So like, how are you planning for the inventory? We are coming up on um, tax season. So planning for tax season, what are you, what's your plans for your inventory? And um, where are you going to get it? Are you changing what kind of inventory you're buying? Are you changing where you're buying? I have changed for the most part where I buy because of what was going on at the audit auctions. So that is definitely something that's in my plan for 2021. Um, also, um, how to improve. So hello, Godson, how you doing? Um, also, there are some things to improve in business, right? So what kind of things do you want to improve? For me, uh, one of the top priorities next year is going to be hiring a team. Um, so I'm calling it like my dream team, right? And so I'm putting my dream team in place so that I can um, sell more cars. Like I, I want to sell like 30 cars a month um, in 2021. So then since I want to sell 30 cars a month, I'm putting together the plan to make that happen. That means I need to definitely make sure I can get 30 cars from my inventory source, wherever I'm getting my inventory from, right? Because I need 30 cars to be able to sell 30 cars, right? Then um, also, you know, what other things do I need to sell 30 cars? Well, I'm not going to be selling 30 cars by myself. So I definitely need a team, right? More of a team. So I have a, a small team now, but I definitely need more of a team. I need a bigger team. I need a more dedicated team. Everybody on my team needs to know exactly what they need to do so that this can be a smooth, um, a smooth operation. Okay. So other things to consider when you're thinking about your planning is opportunities, um, for next year. So I have the opportunity to, I'm a speaker at the NADA conference. That's the National Auto Dealer Association Conference. Uh, I'll be speaking there in February for their conference in February. Uh, that is an opportunity. I actually had that on my plan for 2020 to pursue like um, speaking opportunities. And I did. And the only reason it happened is because it was on my plan. Now in 2021, that's going to happen and it's going to open up other opportunities. So then what kind of things do you want 
Uh, what kind of opportunities do you want to unfold for you in 2021? Like you plan for them now. You get what you expect, right? So you have to think about it. You have to plan. You have to bring it into um, the realm of possibility, so to speak. Like it's not possible if you don't think it even exists, right? So you have to um, you have to put some thought towards it, right? And then um, something else to consider in your plan is potential threats to your business. Uh, one threat might be if you have just one mechanic. That might be a threat. What happens if that mechanic, something happens to that mechanic, then what are you going to do in your business? That's a threat. You have to plan for that threat, right? Um, so these are just some ideas. Like I'm giving you some ideas about how to start thinking about your 2021, but you need to do like a plan, an official plan. Hey, Eric, what's up? You need to do like an official plan. So if you're like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I need to do a plan. I'm just not quite sure, um, you know, how to go about it. Then um, there is an auto dealer business planner uh, that I'm going to include in the auto dealer um, guide, how to profit from cash cars. So if you want to get the plan so that you can um, just fill in the blanks to help you to get your stuff together for 2021, then that is available there. If you're thinking about, and I'll put the link in the description, okay, so you can get the um, the business planner for auto dealers inside the um, auto dealer guide. And I'm going to be sending emails about it um, this week, as well as posting in the dream dealership group. Okay, so look out for information on the guide if that's something you think that would be helpful. The other thing that is coming up soon is the um, 50K funding documents workshop that I'm doing. This workshop is to pull together like all the documents that um, uh, were listed when we had the 50K microloan session. And it was like a ton of documents you needed. It's not really a ton, but um, it seems like that until you pull them together. So let's pull them together. And let's get all of that together for you for funding if that's something you think you want to do. Now, I recommend, my opinion is, you don't go for funding if you don't have a plan. You can't go for funding if you don't have a plan. They even ask you for a plan. <laughs> uh, they ask you, if you're not in business already, they ask you for a projection of like what you're going to do. Uh, they want to know what your plan is too. So everybody want to know what you plan to do. Okay. You need to know too. What do I plan to do in 2021? So you definitely need a plan before you get funding and you definitely need um, to pull your business together because you can put yourself in a in a rough situation um, getting funding and not knowing exactly what to do with it in your business. Okay. So uh, that's coming up. And then if you are uh, really considering opening a car lot and you're really considering getting your license, if you don't already have your license and you have your money and you're like, okay, but I just need a plan to get there, then that is exactly what I do in the strategy sessions. Um, I help you to map out what's your plan for your business moving from this point forward. So if that is something you're interested in, then um, definitely schedule a strategy session with me. I think next week is the last week this year that I'm doing strategy sessions and then starting up um, mid-January. So definitely get on my calendar so that you can hear more about uh, what your plan needs to have for you to be successful. Uh, maybe you want to sell 30 cars a month. Um, you know, like I plan to do next year. So what what does that look like? What do you need in place for that to happen, right? So I um, definitely can give you what I feel has worked so far, not only for me, but also for dealers I've worked with. So strategy session, I'm going to put the link in the um, description if that's something that you want to do. Um, mainly, you know, what I just say, what I would just say is, I'm trying to motivate you to see the importance of um, having a plan, like having an annual plan, like having a um, a quarterly plan, like planning is very important. 
um, not only to kind of drive your path in your business, but also to know when to celebrate. So I'm one of those people who very rarely celebrates achievements, right? It's, it's always like, okay, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? Um, my plan has actually helped me to stop and say, wait, I did something. I did something good. I completed something. Like I'm, I'm in a different, um, I, I'm in a different place than I was before, right? Um, so I just really want to motivate you to uh, sit down and to just really think about your business and what you feel is possible, because that is the most important part. I don't talk a lot about planning, but. It is the most important part. And as the founder of Auto Dealer Business School, it is kind of like I need to talk more about planning because that's what you do in business is you plan and then you plan to change your plan. <laughs> All right, CEOs, any questions? Any questions? Was this helpful? I kind of feel like this was like, you know, um, just motivational. And the real work is going to be getting that planner in the auto dealer guide and going through it. Like I can't go through it um, with you um, unless you're in the auto dealer basics program. We will be talking about our plans today. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, then we can definitely talk about it in the strategy session. But since I can't go through all of your plans, then this is all I, you know, this is what I have for you. I got the planner to help you out to focus um, to, to move you in the right direction. And, um, you know, I have this motivation. So definitely plan for 2021. We want 2021 to be different than 2020. So let's plan for it. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Y'all doing okay? Y'all safe? Y'all selling cars? Y'all ready for 2021? Any of that? <laughs> All right. Well, let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see you next week with, um, I think we're talking a little bit more about like uh, what you need for 2021. Okay. So I'll see you next week. Yes. Yes, Joseph. Selling more cars. <laughs> So I'll see you next week. Um, let me know in the meantime if you need help with um, your strategy and if you want to get the auto dealer guide. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.